On the threshold of the door, the spirit smiled and stopped to bless Bob Cratchit's dwelling with the sprinkling of his torch. Mrs. Cratchit made the gravy hissing hot. Master Peter mashed the potatoes with incredible vigor. Miss Belinda sweetened up the applesauce. Martha dusted the hot plates. Bob took Tiny Tim beside him in a tiny corner at the table. Grace was said. Bob said he didn't believe there ever was such a goose. They were not a handsome family. They were not well dressed. Their shoes were far from being waterproof. Their clothes were scanty. But they were happy, grateful, pleased with one another, and contented with the time. When the dinner was all done, Mrs. Cratchit entered, smiling proudly, with the pudding. Like a speckled cannonball, blazing of ignited brandy, and bedight with Christmas holly. Bob proposed, a Merry Christmas to us all, my dears. God bless us. God bless us, everyone, said Tiny Tim. Tiny Tim sat very close to his father's side. Bob held his withered little hand in his as if he wished to keep him by his side and dreaded that he might be taken from him. 